like the way I'm feeling Can't touch this feeling I mean my feelings
you should like to shine, shine. I know I be rich before I die. Let my respect you to you try. Hey, 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 Y'all, so just about two weeks ago, I had beef tips for the first time, and they were cooked in a crock pot. I've had this crock pot for maybe a year and a half, two years, still in the box, okay? Not that I don't know how to use a crock pot. This is like my second one. I caught this on one of Walmart's clearance sales. So, girl, we're going to go ahead and try our hand at beef tips in the crock pot. Now, if you're interested in the crock pot, I'll have it linked because they still have this very same one in store and online and as well on Amazon. So, I'll have it down below just in case you need a crock pot in your life. But in my hand, these beef tips... And mashed potatoes are about to come out bomb.com so that's what we're gonna have today so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and just kind of get this set up before i start on the meat and all that good stuff but this should be easy right you just put the stuff in here and just turn it on in my head that's how this works but i know i have to brown my beef tips first yeah season them up nonetheless let's go ahead and get started OMG. Let's see what the crock pot's talking about. I need some scissors, girl. Some scissors. Now, I love a good kitchen gadget and appliance, okay? I do love using my appliances. It makes cooking fun and easier with the right appliance. time of year for your crock pot meals so everybody likes to make this soup and chilies and all that good stuff in their crock pots whoa all right all right so it was bigger but this is a perfect size let's see what does the box say how many quarts is this oh it's a four and 4.5 quarts This is what it looks like. Like you've never seen a crock pot before, but this is what mine looks like. It has the stainless steel feels. The one I had before was just all black. Okay. That's nice, cute, sleek. Um, it's just got low, high, and warm settings on it. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything 
cleaned up because it has a lot of box dust. So yeah. And the owner's got. We'll just keep this just in case. I normally never keep these little guides. Oh, but it has recipes in it. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll keep it. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and wash it, and then we'll be back to get started. So these are what beef tips look like, but I'm pretty sure you guys already know. I'm just late to the game. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse them and get them seasoned up. I'm going to use this colander here to get them cleaned up and seasoned up. Alright, so I got them seasoned up. Black pepper and I'm using Tony's Creole seasoning. That's what I have. And I don't have Worcestershire sauce, so I'm going to use Dale's season. It's the, almost the same thing. It's going to give it the same effect, I'm pretty sure. So now I'm ready to go ahead and brown them up and pour in the Dale sauce. And put the stove on medium heat. I have one yellow onion. I might even use the entire thing, So I like a lot of onion. So I've set the crock pot to high. All right, it's warming up, I can tell, because it's fogging up. So meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the meat and the beef broth to the crock pot and my onions that I've yet to chop up. I'm gonna go ahead and chop the onion now. All right, it looks good. Now we're ready to add this to the crock pot along with the onions and I just minced some garlic and our beef broth.
taste like French onion soup. Let me find out. I just cracked the code. I'm making French onion soup. I think next I'm going to go to Amazon and look for that little tiny crock pot to make soups because I'm definitely going to try this next for French onion soup. Okay, so it's been a little over two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of my brown gravy mix. Now you could add your cornstarch to thicken up the liquid to make a nice gravy, but I just added the brown gravy mix. That's just easiest for me. And yeah, this is how it's looking. tender but it can be a lot more tender so I'm gonna let it go for another hour because like it's already been two and it's getting thick let it go another hour and this should be perfect now you can serve this over rice but I think I'm gonna go with mashed potatoes today and we'll do rice maybe tomorrow guys it is finally done omgg this was definitely a process three hours later i'm finally about to eat looks so yummy I know I be rich before I die. 